Hi guys, I am going to show you my super simple go-to Halloween designs. I have a few really high volume Halloween events coming up, so I've been working on really quick one to two minute designs that I can alter or add to depending on the time I have. So this is going to be one of the pumpkin designs I do. I'm using Bright Rainbow from Diamond Effects, and I'm just doing kind of a double layered one stroke. This will help me not use as many sponges too and it's a lot quicker than going into the sponge and doing a background with a stencil so that's the concept behind this so I did leave a hole for the pumpkin that way I'm not competing with the color underneath I find it really easy to do I'm just using a filbert brush like you guys have probably seen me do before for my pumpkins and take any one stroke you have with yellow and orange next to each other and just try to alter and flip your brush back and forth so that you have those segment lines already on the pumpkin. It just makes it easier so you don't have to go in and define it. And instead of grabbing green and doing a stem, I am just going to do black for the stem, quick little pointed teardrops for the eyes, and then a quick little mouth. Because remember, this is an event <laughs> where <laughs> I don't have time, right? So if you have time to switch up the colors, great. But this particular design is for those events where you look back and the line is daunting. And I have two of those coming up. So my hope is that I'm coming up with a few designs that I can whip out really quickly, but have high impact color and high impact design. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do some teardrops and a spider web effect. And I like this design too, because I can switch it up. If there's, you know, a girl who still wants pinks and purples, I can use my unicorn split, um, or any split cake that I have. So I think it's going to be a good one. I'm excited to do it on the job and see how quickly I can do it, but I wanted to share it with you guys. So after this step, you can be done, or if you have some time, I would outline the pumpkin, which I do very loosely just to give it some definition. And then of course, add glitter. I went ahead and added my new pixie paint glitter, which is this really pretty black and silver mix that has a nice Halloween feel. But if you are pressed for time, you can also skip that step and just pat on some glitter. Or if you have a glitter spritzer, with which is what I love for high volume events, just spray the design with glitter and then tell whoever's in your chair, you're done, go, bye. Because sometimes there's just not time for too much detail. So I hope you guys like this one. I'm going to show you a couple other super quick ones that I do as well. But here's my little spider pumpkin all done. I'm really excited to try it. I think it's going to be a good one. Okay, so the next one's going to be an easy spider using a dauber. And you can use a one stroke or a confetti cake if you have confetti cakes. I think more people have one strokes, so I'm going to do it with that. This is just a custom one stroke by tag. It literally says custom on the bottom. I don't know what that means. And I'm just going to swipe the dauber back and forth and then I'll paint this side of my face because that's the side that actually has room. And then just press the dauber down and just twist slightly. You don't have to twist too much. You just want to get those colors on and blend together. And this is going to be this the spider's body. Now, this is not a new design. I'm sure you've seen people do this, but some people might not have. And I just want to show you guys that it is a super simple spider. So while that's wet, I'm going to go ahead and dab on some really pretty iridescent white glitter and then just simply do a circle for the head of the body and then outline the body and then you can do a little bit of kind of like a tail on the spider think of it kind of like as a little triangle at the butt of the spider and it just makes it creepier I don't know why and then from there, just do teardrops. I also love doing spider legs with like a quarter inch or a three quarter inch brush because then you can just quickly stamp the legs, which I love doing at events. But this is also a really good and easy way. Just three segments, quick teardrops, 
and they don't have to be perfect. Actually, if they're not perfect, I think it makes the spider even creepier. Ooh, you can see I got a little stuck under my eye there, but no big deal. It, again, doesn't have to be 100% perfect. It's a creepy spider. Now, the other thing is you do want to make sure that all the legs are coming from that segment of the body that meets the head. That's going to make your spider look more realistic. And it's a mistake I see a lot of people make. Um, I hate to say mistake. You know, it's art. There's no mistakes in art, right? Well, at least it makes it look more realistic. So try to remember to do that. But how quick is that? So quick, and you can change it up a thousand different ways. One other thing I like to do is kind of drag down little um, like spider web marks, and then sometimes I'll take it right across the nose, and then if I have time, do a spider web on the other side. And then it turns that spider into a full face design with very little effort. So this is going to be one that I use a lot in the next couple weeks. And the last design I'm going to show you guys is one that I did all the time when I first started painting. And I still do on little wiggly kids where the parents like, oh, just give them something. And I know I have to do something really quick because they're not going to sit there. So what I do is a tiny little spider body on the center of the nose. I give him little creepy spider legs and I did switch to a smaller brush because the one I was using was way too big for this. So just give him little creepy legs the same way we did the other spider legs. And then I just do a web at the top of the forehead and then those little spider lines leading to the web. And this is so fast. It's kind of cute and creepy like, oh, the kid has a spider, you know, on the bridge of his nose. And it's one that you can do on those wiggly little kids, like the kid who does not want to let you paint them. This is what I do. And it's nice because you can see the web that I'm doing at the top. It's not perfect. I'm not even trying to make it perfect. I'm just doing some quick lines and then I'm going to connect them with my little loops and you've got a quick spider. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys can use some of these quick tips and easy designs for your events coming up. Please tag me as always. I love seeing it when you guys recreate my designs. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notifications when I post a new video. I hope you guys have a safe and successful Halloween season and have fun at those Halloween events. It's the best time of year, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys in my next video.